All right, good morning, second grade students. So today for math, uh, you watched the video for lesson 14, which was on model numbers with more than nine ones or nine tens, write in expanded unit standard and word forms. So we're going to be looking at C up here first. So C is asking us, draw 206 using hundreds, tens, and ones. So again, let's go ahead and label. So we have ones, tens, and hundreds here on our chart. And we can do the same. We have ones, tens, and hundreds up here. So for our hundreds, we have two. So we can draw one, two, and label both of these 100. For our 10 spot, we don't have anything, so we can leave this blank. And for our one spot, we have six. So we're gonna draw one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna label each circle one. So we have 100, 200, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have 206 here modeled in our place value chart. Now this one is asking us to draw 206 using only tens and ones. So let's go ahead again and label ones, tens, and hundreds. But remember, it only wants us to use tens and ones. So let's put an X in our hundreds so we know we don't want to touch that one at all. So we need to start in our tens place. So now we do have hundreds. We have two of them actually. So this time, I'm not going to draw circles because this is going to get pretty tight. I'm going to do a line instead. So the line is going to equal 10. So I will count this out as I do this. So we're going to have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that's 100 right there. And then we're going to have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So together, this all equals 200. So instead of making two circles for our hundreds, we had to make 20 lines to get to our 200. Now our ones is going to stay the same. So again, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six circles with one in each. So this is two different ways to show the number 206, except this way we couldn't use hundreds. We had to break it down into 20 tens. So, so the 20 tens was the same as two hundreds. All right, so now let's look at number two here. So we need to fill in the blanks here, and we can start by using the place value charts from problem one to help us if we need to. So let's look at A first here. So A says 18 equals blank hundreds, blank tens, blank ones. So first off, we can label our ones and our tens place. 
So with 18, we have zero hundreds. We have one ten. And in our ones place, we have eight ones. So you notice that when we look at this all out, it actually writes out the number 18 for us. So now 18 equals blank ones. So now if we're talking only ones place, 18 equals 18 ones. So again, it's the same number as what we started with. So now let's look at B here. So B, our number is 315. So we can label ones, tens, and hundreds. So we need to do hundreds, tens, and ones again. So our hundreds place, we had three hundreds. Our tens place, we had 110, and our ones place, we have five. So again, when we expand this out, we're still writing out the number that we started with. Now we're gonna do the same thing with the number 315, except this time, we're only doing hundreds and ones. So for our hundreds place, we have three. And now we need to figure out our tens and our ones place to only show ones. So for this one, we're gonna take our tens and our ones, which we had one and five, and we're gonna make that into 15 ones. So again, we still have the number 315 written out here. So 110 plus five ones gives us 15 ones. All right, let's try that with the number 206 here. So again, we're gonna do hundreds, tens, and ones. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this one down here, just we have those written out. So let's start with this first one. So we have hundreds, tens, and ones. So our hundreds place is two hundreds. Our tens place has zero. And our ones place has six. So again, if you're writing out the number as it's written over here, you know you did it correctly. Now we're gonna do 206. But this time, tens and ones. So let's start with our ones place. So our ones place, we have six ones. Now for our tens place, we're going to combine our tens and our hundreds together. And we have the number two, zero. So we're gonna have 20 tens and six ones give us 206. So remember up here for our tens place, we had to draw 20 lines to get our 200 total. All right, and let's do one more together here. So 419, so let's write out our hundreds, our tens, and our ones, and we'll do the same for this one. All right, so we're back to hundreds, tens, and ones. So hundreds place, we have four. Tens place, we have one. In our ones place, we have nine. Now again, for 419, we can only do tens and ones. So we're gonna start with our ones place, which we have nine. And now to get our tens, we're going to put together our hundreds and our tens place. So we have the number 41. So 41 tens plus one nine would give us our 419. 
All right, so that is our worksheet today for lesson 14.